Okay, so this is the first grouping of items that I'm going to be sharing from our weekend haul the other day. Um, we went to Atlanta and we found some great items. This first grouping is actually just the um, women's dresses that we found and then some men's items. The men's items are a little bit harder for us to find so when we do find them we grab them because I feel like men just kind of wear their items out and don't donate them as often and they don't donate them until they're just basically worn to pieces. Um, there's some great bread and butter in this part of the hall, some vents, um, some vintage Betsy Johnson, and some Bowden and a few pieces like that. So I hope y'all enjoy seeing it. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to show y'all all the items that we got. I'll start with the women's dresses that we got. The first one is this really cute, um, it's like a shirt dress. It's actually J. Crew collection. Then we grabbed this one. It is a Betsy Johnson ruffle edge dress. It's really cute. It's um, actually a vintage and it's a size medium. It's got adjustable straps, which I like on a dress. And then we got this cute Weston Wear. Weston Wear is actually an anthropology brand. They're, they're sold other places, but I believe this was an anthro dress. It's really cute. It's got kind of some bling in the material and a like belted feature, which is nice. Then I got this here. It's a really cute striped cotton like material current Elliott dress. It actually had a tag on it from a consignment store, I believe. It's got pockets, which as a woman, pockets are always great on a dress. And I love the little button features. Then we grabbed an Athleta dress. Um, I like this one because it's also got pockets. It looked like brand new. It doesn't seem like it was ever worn. And I, I think it's got um, a built-in, no, it doesn't have the built-in bra, but I thought it did. Some of theirs do, which is nice. This has kind of got like a pencil skirt bottom and I'm really digging the back on it. It's kind of got like the, the tuliped edge back, which is nice. I think it helps to cover any imperfections that you might have when you're wearing like a bra with it. Um, the next piece was a size 3X Lily Pulitzer for Target dress. I think this is like the sea urchin design. I can't remember the actual name. Um, but any of their plus size pieces that you can find, they go for crazy amounts. I've sold several of their pieces for around $150 to $200 just because it's hard to find. And Lily for Target is the only plus size pieces that Lily Pulitzer has ever made. And when I was plus size, I purchased the entire collection and I recently sold all of it. So when I can find another piece, I'm very happy. The next was a super cute Lucky brand. If it was a size large or extra large, I'd be keeping it. It's got pockets. It's kind of um, very boho, free people kind of like. Um, it's got embroidery. It's a size medium and it's also got pockets which I just love. This piece is kind of a workwear piece. It's a dress as well. It's by um, Adriana Papel. It's a size 16 and it's got nice kind of longer sleeves which I'm digging on it and it's color block and the back. It's got a exposed zipper design and there's like literally nowhere on this dress, which was cool. I've been digging the ABS dresses for a while. Um, this is kind of a very modern vintage style. I, when I see a dress kind of like this, I can't help but to think like Austin Powers era. Um, this one has the kind of Ricky bottom if you've like been online for a while. Uh, it's a size four. It's just really cute. The next one is a LuLaRoe dress. I can't remember the name of this one, um, but it's a size large and I like the color and I like the sleeves on it. And it's striped and it's not like a wild color. So people who aren't really into LuLaRoe, it'll appeal to them, but also people who are LuLaRoe fans and like the more muted tones, it's a really nice piece too. 
This next piece is actually a Simply Southern dress. I like the bottom. It's very Lily Pulitzer-like. If you're not familiar with Simply Southern, it's kind of like a Lily brand. Um, very Southern style. I think Southern sorority girl when I think about it. It's very soft and kind of cotton material top. This one's actually kind of a rare size. It's an extra large slash 2X. So I've never actually seen them in a lar extra large 2X. I've only seen them in an extra large. So that was kind of a cool find and I like the little banded waist. This one here, I've not bought this brand before, but it seems to be doing pretty well. It's a black um, Lou and gray dress, which I believe is made by um, Ann Taylor or Loft or one of those similar brands. This one looks really new and I think it'll be great for fall coming in. This one here, I don't always buy the Missoni for Target, but this is a dress and they tend to do really well. It's got the classic Missoni pattern, the stripes, and it's short sleeve. You could do it for fall or spring, which is nice. This next piece is a Bowden dress. Um, all the Bowden dresses I get go very quickly. And this one's a pretty good size. It's a size 12. Um, yeah, and it's just, it's nice. It's simple and you can pair it with lots of things. This one was kind of a random buy. I'm not sure about it. It's an extra large and that's kind of why I got it. And I figured if it doesn't sell, I can always wear it. Um, it's a Juicy Couture romper or I guess not a romper, but a jumpsuit. It's got the banded waist and banded bottoms, which I like, and it's kind of a light chambray denim style. Okay, so the next grouping of things that I wanna show you is the men's section. Um, we don't find a lot of men's stuff that's really good quality. I think men tend to wear their stuff until it falls apart, um, but when we do luck up and find some good pieces, I always grab them because they go really well. This is a men's Adidas Climalite jacket. Um, it's got a full zip on it, pockets, really cool stripe. It's actually for their golf line and this is a size extra large so it'll appeal to a lot of people. This next item is actually a Vince button down shirt. I'm madly in love with this. It looks as if it's brand new. There's hardly any signs of wear on it. It was actually dry cleaned, which I love when I find items that have been dry cleaned and then donated. It's, this is actually the newer label of Vince and it's a size large. It's just really nice and it's got great colors. You can wear it year round. The next item I don't normally buy this brand, but this is a button down and I find that the button downs still do pretty well is Lacoste. This was an extra large and it's a classic blue toned color, full button up. It's got the little gator on the front. It's just really nice. It's got longer sleeves too. So I, I'll hold the sleeves up to Tyler and if they kind of fit Tyler's arm length, I'll get it too because guys with longer arms have a harder time. Then the next two items are actually two Ben Sherman shirts. They're short sleeve, button down, casual shirts. I like that they have the Ben Sherman logo on them and they're just really kind of casual, cool shirts and they're both the same size. So I think the same person donated them. There was a third one there, but we didn't get it. It had a small hole in it. The next, this was probably one of my favorite finds. It's actually a vintage YSL shirt. It's men's, um, when you, it's kind of got this like really soft material, a little silky. I haven't actually looked at what the material is on it, but it's a 15 by 32 by 33. It's just a really nice casual shirt. I don't always pick up Guy Harvey, but this one just kind of called to me. Um, it's a kind of fisherman's shirt. It's a size medium. It's 100% nylon. It's got the little um, netting on the inside, but the back for a Southern girl is kind of where it's at. It's got like a bass on it, eating another fish. And I think that'll go really well. Just like some Southern guy somewhere is gonna buy that shirt. And this was a really random find. It was just sitting on the end of a rack and I was like, okay, I'll take it. It's an affliction shirt. Their tees sell pretty well, especially if they're a larger size, and this is a 2X. This is actually one of the newer styles because they started doing the Indian schools recently with the like side stitching. Um, I have a very similar shirt to this that's actually mine. That's the women's line, and Tyler has some as well. I just love the back and the graphics, and it looked like brand new. There was hardly anywhere on the shirt. The next two items are two more Adidas items. I found them at the same store as the other one. This is a Formotion shirt. Um, it's 
I think it's part of their golf line again I'm not 100% sure this is also an extra large it's got a really cool neckline and it's just really cool graphics on it and then this one is a Clima cool Adidas but it's also an Audi shirt and from being in the car community for so long I found that like car items sell very quickly especially if you price them well and there's a lot of car enthusiasts who look for car gear to match their car so this one was really nice and the next last well the last three items of men's that I got are three blazers I always check the blazers because I don't know why but men donate really nice designer blazers all the time this one's a Givenchy and then this one says made in Italy on it. It's actually Armani Colazzoni. And then the last one is a brand new tag, Lucky Brand. It's a size medium. It's spinning on me. Um, and it actually still had the tag on it for $129. Like, I don't know who just donates a blazer that's $129, but I'm thankful that they do.